Welcome to a tutorial for the SAG AFTRA member app. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. So, you've downloaded the app from the App Store or Google Play. You have it on your phone, opened it up, and now it's time to log in. Logging in should be easy because your username and password are the same ones you use for the SAGAFTRA.org website. First thing you see when you log in is the home screen. At the top is your digital card, which allows you to verify your SAGAFTRA membership just like the card you receive in the mail. In the card's bottom right-hand corner, you'll also see an arrow. Just tap on that and see all the text currently found on the back of your card. It has key phone numbers and a 24-hour safety hotline if there's an on-set emergency. To get back to the home screen, tap on the arrow and you're back. Before we get to the tiles below, one key feature we need to call out is the navigational menu found at the top left, the three little horizontal lines, also called the hamburger. When you tap the hamburger, you're given access to all the tile categories that appear on the home page. During this tutorial, we'll use this to get around the app. For now, let's go back to the home page and start there. So, there's seven main tiles on this app, seven different directions you can go. We'll start with My Membership. In My Membership, you'll see your personal information. This section is divided into two parts, your contact info and your agency info. On the contact info page, you'll see such things as your ID number, your member category, local, primary address, and email. If there's anything incorrect, you can edit and change right here on the app. So let's say you see your primary address needs to be updated. Tap the edit icon. Up comes the edit screen. You can go in and put in a different address right here. Then you can submit it, and it takes about one business day for the information to be updated with the union. But I'm not going to make an actual edit, so I'll cancel out and hit the X. We're back in My Membership, and you can toggle over and see Agency Info. You can see there's an agent listed. If you notice your agency info is incorrect and needs to be changed, scroll down and follow the directions on how to edit it. Let's go to our main nav menu. Remember, you can hit the hamburger in the top left corner and get the menu at any time. Now let's go to the Residuals Tracker. We know this will be a popular app feature. At the top, you can see your residuals checks that are in process, residuals mailed to you, and unclaimed residuals. We're currently looking at in process. Here I can see what checks are being processed right now. If I'd like more information about a specific check, I click on the little caret here, and the check details expand. Now let's go to mailed. Here I can see what checks have recently been mailed to me. But let's say you want to view your checks by a certain date range or check amount. As you can see, there's a spyglass in the top right corner. We hit that, and note that you can change your date range or sort by gross amount. All checks, checks lower than $500, and checks above $500. Let's see what's been mailed during the last year. Hit Apply, and this view takes effect. You now see which checks have been mailed to you during the last year. Now, if you go to Unclaimed, you'll see what you have in Unclaimed Residuals. I currently have $0 in trust, so there's no reason to contact the Residuals Trust Department. So that's the Residuals Tracker. Next up, News and Events. The News and Events feed is preset to your local, so you start with what's happening in your specific area. As you can see up at the top, I'm in the New York local. This section is divided into both news and, if I toggle over, upcoming events. Let's start with the news. The latest news is featured on top, with older stories on the bottom. I can click on a news item and even share it if I want to. When finished, I just close out that particular story and go back to News and Events. Toggling over, you can now see upcoming events. The nice thing about this is you can see what the event is and, if you so choose, save it to your device's calendar, text somebody about it, or share it on social media. Let's say I'm traveling to a different city and want to see what's happening in this particular location. I can choose a different local. As you can see, all the locals are here. You just scroll through and pick which local you want. Finally, there's a spyglass in the top right corner to search for anything in news and events. Let's go back to our hamburger. Next, we go to Production Listings. Production Listings shows you what's happening in your local area. Let's start with the top right, where you can see your spyglass. If we tap on that, we can search for specific productions. Click that. And now we can search by different dates. There's the start date and end date. I can also choose different locals and production types. Let's say I want to see what's in production in Los Angeles, for instance, between those dates. I can do that. Here's what's shooting in L.A. during that time frame. Let's say one of those is important to me. Maybe it's something I'm interested in. I can star or favorite the production listing, and the app will save it as my favorite right here. Now, if you look at this particular listing, you can see the working title, what type of production it is by the icon here, and the production dates. Back to the menu. We have a few more categories left. One of them is Rates and Contracts. 
If you want to read more about a specific contract, there's commercials, new media, television, theatrical, video games, right at your fingertips. Let's say I'd like more info about theatrical. There are three different sections here. The first, contracts, lets you go in and read the entire full-length contract. And if you want information for subcontracts of theatrical, you can click on the header name and select one. Let's say that's too detailed and you just want the highlights. You can toggle over to the Rates and Digest section and get more general information about the contract. You can click on the contract FAQs as well. If you see an FAQ of interest, click on the small triangle and find your information. The idea here is to allow performers to access specific contracts in a quick, efficient manner. Back to the menu. Next, we come to Deals and Discounts. This could become a very popular feature because it's like having a digital coupon book on you at all times. As you can see, things are listed by category. Travel, insurance, dining, etc. There are a lot of deals to consider. We can go in and find out what's a deal in your local, or we can see national deals. Let's click on All. Right now it's set for New York, but you can change that. Let's say I'm heading to Los Angeles on a trip. I can see deals that are in L.A. for that category. You'll also notice something very helpful. Along with a brief description, you'll find little icons at the bottom of each deal. These provide more info about things like websites, locations, phone numbers, etc. Back to our menu for our last tile, Contact Us. At any moment you're logged into the app, you can find the main SAG-AFTRA number and reach the contact center. But it's also handy to have the union's onset emergency number right here. You can also email the union. There's FAQs available and your current local is listed. If we click on FAQs, you can hopefully get immediate answers by seeing the most common questions members are asking. A couple of different features about the app that we haven't talked about. Let's go to the menu. In Settings, you can access the FAQs again, report a bug, change your password, things like that. Finally, in the top right corner of the app is your Message Center, where you'll receive union news and events specific to you. You'll notice that if an item is gray in color, that means you've already opened it and seen it. If it's white in color, that means you haven't opened the message yet. Let's say I've already read this particular message and I'd like to delete it. I can simply slide it over, hide it, and it disappears. Let's go back to the home page. So that, everybody, is the sag after a member app. But one thing before you go. What you're seeing in this video is the first version of a dynamic tool that will keep improving. If you have any suggestions, we encourage you to send your thoughts and comments to app at sagaftra.org. Thanks for watching.